There's a difference between an illusion and a delusion. The topic for today is the delusion of the self. The difference in an illusion and delusion is um, an illusion is what you experience with a magician. You know, a magician is pulling out a coin from your ear. And then you go like, ooh, coin from my ear. That is the illusion. If the magician shows you, no, actually, it didn't come from your ear. I had it hidden in my hand. And you keep believing that the coin came from your ear. That is a delusion. A delusion is when, even though you have all the evidence and you have all the information, you still believe in something specific. And that is what is, is, the, um, is the thing about, about the self, the idea and the notion of a separate self. That is a delusion. Because there are so much evidence showing you that actually there isn't a separate self. There can't be a separate self. But we still have this very profound feeling of an I being there, of a me being here. And, I, and initially, when you start to, to work with the awakening and, and, and with the awareness, um, initially, it, it's one of those things that, that can be very scary <laughs> when, we start, when, when we talk about it, because you becoming aware that it isn't a you, the ego will immediately give you a notion of what, if I'm not here, then what? Then what? You know? Uh, and then the doubts start to come and the skepticism starts to come, where instead of being curious and, and investigating the thought of there is no self, then we kind of withdraw and start to build even more fences. So it's just, if I ask you, imagine, um, imagine you without a self, what would that be? And for every single one of you sitting here, it's a different notion. It's a different notion. It's, it's a different feeling. If, if there's no self, then what is, what is it? What, what is here then? For every single one of you, it's different. And that is another sign too, that there can't be a self because then it would be the same for all of us. <laughs> 